back to the big idea. Okay, every watch, everybody watching tonight has a chance to make millions of dollars from a business idea that's as close to you right this second as your workbench, your computer. It's your hobby, the thing you love doing more than anything else. And tonight we're cracking the code to making that hobby into big bucks, like my next guest who did it with her writing. Turning a hobby into millions. Maria Peavy. She loved to shop and she loved to write. And she found a way to combine the two with a line of inspirational cards for women called Simply She, a line that quickly expanded to women's clothing. So far, so good. But then Maria's big idea took a four legged left turn with clothes emblazoned with inspirational slogans for dogs. And guess what? Maria's business is working to the tune of $15 million in sales and top ranking in dog apparel sales for Walmart. Maria PV, founder and president of Simply She. Welcome, She. Thank Welcome, you. Maria. Great to be here. I love this story because, Aww. once again, it's an example of somebody, your director of marketing and energy company. I, yes. I get tired just thinking about it, I okay? Know. Not your so exciting energy. Your boyfriend <laughs> breaks up with you. Mm hmm. Life changing. What happens? Sad, sad. Well, let's just say it was the best breakup I ever had. Always is. Once again, theme of the show <laughs> out of adversity comes greatness. Perspective. Um, a good friend of mine sent me a card every week to keep my spirits up. And uh, I was always wanted to have my own business. And I thought, what a great idea. There was a $70 billion industry, the greeting card industry, and there were no cards that talked to women about the things we actually go through. I find that unfathomable. Yes. In hindsight, the great simple idea is always how is the what do you, isn't that what cards are all about? I know, but it was the kitten hanging off the tree saying, hang, hang in, in there, there. Baby. And when you're crying, <laughs> not eating, or eating the chocolate cake ten times in a row, you know, you need the card that says, you're going to find him and you're fabulous. Or a card like this. This is an example. It's a perfect example. Instead of <laughs> hanging there, baby, or, right. you know, it's no, I don't have impossibly high standards. I'm just trying to find someone I actually like. That's important. The nerve you, <laughs> as a marketer, the nerve you hit mm -hmm. was not feel better. It was like, oh no, somebody gets me. Right. No, no, no. Right. no. At this moment, it's not about making me feel better. It's telling me, no, there's nothing wrong with me. It's saying it with honesty and humor. It's I love it. It's very sex in the city for the modern girl. I love it. Yeah. So this was, I find it staggering that it was not out there. So nope. you get these cards and you go, why is anybody else doing this? Yep, exactly. What? I, you do that? I went out and uh, came up with the idea for Simply She, wrote the business plan in a weekend. What um, does that mean for everybody out there who goes, I got an idea like that, but... Ooh, business plan. What does that mean you wrote the business plan? I'd never written a business plan okay. in my life. Obviously, I was a writer, but uh, I went and found a business plan outline online. There are guys. At, what, do you, is there a specific website? I think it was bizplan.com. Bizplan.com. Anybody? Guys, business plans, I know sometimes it could sound a little scary. It does. They're not, was, they're not that scary. It made it easy. It okay. gave you all your key points that you had to fill in. Okay. So I had the story, and you know I needed to work with someone on the numbers side, but basically I got that together over a 48-hour period. Okay. Obviously, the great thing about this business, I would think, going in, not a big capitally intensive business. No. You're selling paper. Yes. So what happens now? So you start writing these very great you know, things. You know Trendy you don't have cards. a problem. <laughs> Um, you Everything know. you need to feel better about yourself. Okay. And what'd you do? So I went out and I found um, I wanted to position it somewhere that had you know good PR presence. So I went out to the Henry Bendels, to the Fred Siegels of the world, like your former guest, and uh, got an appointment. Sold the product. How do you get for everybody? Okay, Henry Bendel exclusive store, Fred Siegel exclusive store. Are they actually seeing people that aren't that don't have businesses? How do you get that first appointment? You call up the buyer and you tell them what your concept is and. Hopefully, Give me the they pitch, like because it. Once again, everybody thinks they've been, oh, I can't get through to them. They're mm -hmm. not going to take it. What did you say to this? Hi, first of all, how'd you get the buyer on the phone? And what did you say to that buyer sure. that said, you know, I'm going to take a chance on this person? Well, first, I sent the product out in advance okay. with, a, with a press clip and then um, called them up, explained the product that this was something they don't have in the store currently. It's a hot market, that this voice really speaks to women about their everyday experiences. And, you know, I'd love to just have an appointment to show you the line. That's what I did, and I got in, and before I knew it, the cards were being passed around to everyone in the store. That's Women it. were laughing, and probably, I knew I had sold. Probably the, cards. the buyer you were selling to would have been a customer. That's the she key. She was. It's very she easy, was. not very easy. It's much easier when you have a product that the person you're selling it to, as opposed to just being a right. buyer for the store, is something they would use themselves. I, I mean. think the, the key to our product is simply she is that it's really relatable, and because of the humor with it, it makes sure. it you know an honest dialogue that you're having. And, and you obviously a high margin. Get it. Now, had you. Produced any beyond samples at this point? No, I had just the so prototypes. So what happens? You get in order. What do you do at that point? <laughs> I had the prototypes, and then I had to, um, you know, go to my family to get some extra funding so we could go get the cards actually made. And so we self-manufactured initially, 
And uh, that was my one moment. I remember on the printing press line, I actually called up my dad and said, oh, my God, what are we doing? And he said, brass ring the whole way. And then I said, okay. You just got to keep going for it. Got to keep going. You just keep going. Don't and this back. thing exploded. You're selling it at 8,000 boutiques across 8, the country? 8,000 boutiques. It's amazing. Um, we had amazing press. Uh, it was just a very trendy product. That's, and an it, I, that's another thing for everybody out there. If you, you, if you have something that is going to be interesting to the press, they're, they're looking to fill pages. Right. You know, when you're Cosmopolitan and you're Vanity Fair, you're New York Magazine or whatever it is, yeah. every month or a newspaper every day has got to fill pages. So if you have something that has any kind of like funky value. If it's, the it's, editors it's, love it, yeah. you're going to get okay. more play. So you start building multi-millions there. And so then I thought... How the hell did you get in the dog business there? Well, I thought that, you know, once you have this content, you could spin it off and put it on any product. So I started with the women's wear clothing, and then I expanded it into books. These messages on the clothing. The messages the on books. the okay. clothing. So you basically understood that, no, you were not owning greeting cards. You were owning an, e owning an ethos. You I were always had a big yeah. vision. It yeah. was multiple brands under, inside Simply She. Yeah. And so we, the third book I wrote was Simply Dog. Okay. And I just gotten a puppy myself. And I went to the store. And again, you know, the best thing about doing this is you can't find what you want. You make it yourself. That's the theme of the show, guys. If there's so. a product, service out there not being met, guess what? You're not that different than most people. <laughs> Go do it because that's what we call a hole in the market. So what wasn't being met? Because as far as I'm concerned, once again, Layman, no, all these goofy dog products right. out there. What's not being met? Well, it was just at the height of the, the pet chic movement, okay. too. And I noticed that there was nothing that was a coordinated product line that was stylish. So I went in and um, came up with the concept of putting the humor on the T-shirts, the clothing well. for the pets. And it just blew out from there. Um, we have every kind of apparel you can imagine, accessories, okay. We have a little model here, my partner in crime, <laughs> Stephanie's dog, Lexi. Yes, Lexi, Lexi here is wearing, is wearing a sundress, as, as often dogs. She's now, going I'm to not saying I endorse this philosophy, guys. Uh, let me ask a dumb question, though. This doesn't seem like the same brand. This, to me, seems like a bit. Why is this that How same philosophy, the seemly? I, if this had a message like a very dog, asp uh, you right. know, motivational well, message, but this is just the dog in a dress. Well, that's how you As we often have on brand. a big, big idea, dogs in dresses. <laughs> but what, what's the connection? Garden party. Uh, well, you know that with any, anything, any brand that you market, you can only stay in a certain place for so yeah. long. So initially, our tees, and a lot of them are still, my owner's hotter than your owner. Okay, got that. But she's just not wearing that. Okay, she's wearing she, our expanded going into prints now. Going into, okay. Spring. And once again, now you've become, believe it or not, the largest supplier of pet apparel to Walmart. Yes. Once again, this market. is a person who several years ago, <laughs> once again, bummed out. Lexi. Lexi, what's the matter, man? Bummed out, mm -hmm. working for an energy company. Mm -hmm. Boyfriend broke up. Where's the boyfriend now? Bumming out, He's right? married. Married. Yeah. Married some hussy, right? Well, you're <laughs> exactly. doing great. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Maria Peavy, founder and president of Simply She. Look Thank at this you. puppy. It's the best of both worlds, the thing you love to do, guys. If you love to do something, I don't care what it is, riding bikes, whatever it is, we all got a hobby. There's millions of bucks in that hobby. You just got to figure out how to do it. We're going to show you those hidden